Welcome back to my channel. So my audio on this video is messed up, so I'm gonna do a voiceover per usual, okay? So, hmm, this hair is from Eunice. Um, my best friend bought this wig, and it was very cheap, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so this is an orange wig, a closure, but it's not your typical closure. I've reviewed a closure like this before. It has tracks in it, so, hence it being very 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 affordable so this is 24 inches of body wave all right so this wig is basically ready to install out the package i did not wash it you can wash it if you want to but it was just like one of those throw on wigs so it does come with a wig cap a comb and some eyelashes you will get that in your um or when you, in your order if you go purchase it like she did from the local mall so this is what the tracks on the closure looks like you do not get any parting space this is a fixed parting um closure for you guys you do not get plucking space at all you guys so um let's just go ahead and do this easy install now if you're not new to my channel you're gonna be like up oh, sin eunice yes i did not purchase this i'm just doing the install okay or i'm not working with them i'm just doing the install you know me and eunice had our you know beef uh i didn't have a problem with their hair i have a problem with their practices because they did take photos that was not there so um yeah so anyway um Let's do this. So I'm going to take some got to be gel and I am going to put it on her edges and mold it back. She did take off a wig before she got to my house. So that's the reason why her hairline is a little bit white right here. Because this is a closure, I'm not going to mold her cap down. Um, this is just going to be a super quick install. And I'm just going to pull the uh, stocking cap a little bit back and to tint her stocking cap and her lace i'm going to use this color from even she likes this color because it matched very close to her skin natural skin tone i haven't found a good makeup shade for her because everything comes off a little bit orange so this was the best one if you're around her skin tone i'll definitely leave a link to the even um tinting spray down below in the description box for you guys So, Sade never had orange hair before, so this is a, something new for her. She's never had, like, super color hair besides, like, burgundy, and um, she just wants to try something different. So, I was like, okay. So, because this is a quick install, I am going to use Bohold Liquid Gold. This is my favorite product to use, especially if you do not want to keep your wig on for more than a day. You can use this. This will last you a couple of days if you do the upkeep with it. But um, this, super really, this is really easy to use. I'm just going to apply a nice thin layer um, where the closure is going to sit. And I'm going to spread it out. Make sure it's spread out nice and even. Not a thick layer because if it's thick, if you lay the lace on it while it's thick, it will seep through to the hair. And that's what you don't want, all right? So I'm just putting some on her cap just to make sure that her cap sticks down. And I'm putting some on her actual skin and hairline just to make sure that the front of the lace sticks down. Um, again, um, liquid gold is water-based, so all you have to do is wet it with water and it will come off. It will not damage your hair, anything like that. So I'm gonna lay the lace down, take my blow dryer, my silver bird. Ooh, I love this blow dryer so much. You guys don't understand. If you make wigs or if you do hair, um, certain blow dryers just are so slow. And this one, it gets warm, gets hot, and it blow dries so good. So I'll also leave this down in the description box for you. So I did blow dry it on warm and uh, cool, both settings back and forth, just to make sure that it was um, thoroughly dry. And then I am gonna spray her hair down with some free spray and wrap it down with an elastic band. So this part is just very easy. I'm just gonna go through the entire wig and flat iron it with my ion titanium flat irons which you could get from 
um, Sally's and Amazon as well. I get a, a lot of questions about my flat iron and this is the one that I use that give me that silky look, that silk press, all of that. Um, I love this flat iron. I have two because this one is getting old and I don't know how long she's going to last for me, but I'm a, I'm a user until she, she tap out. You feel me? So I'm going to just go ahead and flat iron this hair. I did know when I was flat iron, notice when I did flat iron this hair, it was super soft. The density was nice. Chardé is about a 22 to 22 and a half of circumference when it comes to her head, uh, head size. So if you are larger than that, um, this might be a little snug for you and i would suggest that you ask the company if they have anything larger for you if you are smaller than that then you're fine because it does have adjustable straps and you can add an elastic band to this and it does have comb so you are good when it comes uh, to the wig okay so i i definitely thought that that was um something that i should notate the color is nice it's like a rusty orange like a burnt orange to me um i myself in order for me to wear this i would either you know add a little bit of roots or like uh darken the color a little a tad bit for it to be wearable on me but it actually turned out looking really nice on Sade. so I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron this wig. I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background, he's right here just playing. <laughs> So because this is limited parting, I just want to make sure that this looks as natural as possible because I cannot pluck it. The, the, you can't really pluck the uh, part in it either because if you pluck too much, you're definitely going to see tracks. And so I'm going to just take my um, hair wax stick and my hot comb and I'm just going to make sure that this is sleek and pressed down nice because I like um, my hairline in the top of my hair of if I do installs on people or myself to be really, really flat and neat. And since the hairline is almost done, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut off the excessive lace. I'm gonna start off with the tabs that's on the side, the seams. I cut that off till where the cap starts because I want the lace to lay down as flat as possible. And then from there, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut off the remainder portion of the lace that's in the middle. So you can either use a razor or some scissors or some uh, picking shears with your zigzag scissors. You can use whatever you like to cut off that lace. Just cut it, cut the lace almost close to the hairline and you will be fine.